is not a test, this is a state of an emergency Calling all hip-hop, R&B, and reggae artists Report to Underground Entertainment Radio That's right, get interviewed, get your shine on Promote your website, promote your shows DJ Gangster, DJ DT, and set it off for you, baby Underground Entertainment, your only choice for our shit You know what it is, baby, stay tuned We about to bring you an interview live Right now. Yeah, y'all now tuned in Underground Entertainment Radio. Got the OG Assassin, original Thugs Life DJ, man. What's going on, homie? I'm doing my thing, making it pop a lot as usual. It's just an honor just to be on the station, you know. Picking it live with the homie right here. You know how we do it. Yeah, man. So how'd you get your rap name, homie? Back in the days, I actually got it from my homeboy, Shay, man. He uh, used to see all the different, you know, battles that I do. So how long have you been in the rap game? Over 15 years, man. Over 15 years in the rap game. You know, uh, my first album came out in 1996. I was actually under the name Assassin, but I actually been doing uh, you know, production work and different beats for cats, like even like five years before that. So yeah, cool. I've been in the game for a minute. And I was DJing like you know prior to that, ever since like I was 16 years old. So All right. music always been real. Feeling that, you know, man. I, I, I'm from the breakdancing days, the hip hop days, the graffiti kind of shit. Yeah. When the shit was real. I mean, I'm not saying it's not real now, but that shit was, there was a whole feeling, there was a horror back then hey. that you loved, man, and hip hop was just, you know, listening to the slick rick, Dougie Fresh, Grandmaster Flash, right. you know, man. Man. you know what I mean, Rob Bass, shit like right. that, you know? We both we both know the game is watered down right now. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's watered yeah, down heavy. Yeah. So, if you were to stop rapping today, what song do you think people will remember being your best track and why? Well, of course, everybody knows that real bad boys with me and Tupac <laughs> Shakur, you know. Uh, peace. That's the song right there that yeah. everybody knows me, you know, now, especially the, you know, the real Tupac fans. That's basically how a lot of people know me through my affiliation with Doug Rice, Mo Prime Shakur, right. Tupac Shakur, Big Sight, Mo Prime, mm-hmm. Macadocious. You know what I mean? Uh, the original Thug Life. I mean, I think that's probably a song that's probably always going to be remembered just because it's something that I did with Pac. You know yeah, what I mean? It's a high joint. It's a high joint, man. Got to give it to you. If you were Thanks, give, yeah, man. If you were given the chance to choose a major record label, whose label would you sign to and why? So right now, I'm already, you know, on a major right now, and that's through the choice of what I, you know, just accomplished, you know, right. by selling records, and I'm with EMI Records right now through distribution, okay. so I would probably just climb up that ladder even more and just stick with who I'm with right now, EMI, yeah, and keep, uh, climbing up the ladder, you know what I mean, so. Definitely feeling that, bro. So where can we find your music online to download or buy it? You can actually go to my MySpace.com page, and all the links are on there where you can just channel out different, you know, situations where you can download it, you can go to Snowcap, you know, there's a lot of different outlets that we got Digital-wise, you can go to iTunes and punch in the staff and then get it through the digital network. You can go to Napster. I'm on damn near like 20, 30 different, you know, digital sites that you can go to. Yeah. And most of those uh, links are on my MySpace page. And that's myspace.com forward slash assassin. Right. And that's A-S-S-A-S-S-I-N. Right. Yeah. So as you know about being a rapper, beef runs heavy throughout the industry between artists. So if another rapper this assassin, how would you handle it? Well, it depends what the situation is. I'm not the type of person to blow somebody up. 
you have to name up. So we can handle it in the streets if it really comes down. I'm, I'm a real type of motherfucker to really handle something in the streets before blowing somebody up. You know what I mean? But if it's on some some old school battling type of shit, we can get into that type of shit too. But basically, I, I don't uh, blow anybody else's name up unless it's a bigger rapper that sold more records than me. And if it's just me, then I'll take that to the advantage of selling the records and really do it on wax. I feel you that. Keep that shit for the streets. I feel that. So you affiliated with any, are you affiliated with any independent record labels? And if you are, tell me about the label. Say that again. I said, are you affiliated with any independent record labels? And if you are, tell me about those labels. Oh yeah, I'm affiliated with a lot of record labels, especially out here in the Bay Area, you know, with uh, Get Low Records, JT, The Bigger Figure, San Quinn, Done Deal Records. Uh, we're affiliated with mostly all the independent labels out of the Bay, man. I work with mostly all of them. Yeah. You know, Mr. Fab. Entertainment. Yeah. So basically, the whole Bay Area, man. You know, we're, we're all working, you know, as a whole today. You know, all together. Right. So. I'm feeling that, man. You got that legendary status. So yeah, you worldwide, man. We know that for real. So uh, when you're not in the studio making tracks, what are you doing, homie? Just taking care of my family, man. You know what I mean? That. I'm a family man. That's what I do when I'm not uh, working on these records because you know records take a lot of your time and they take you know a lot of your uh family time as well so yes, sir. <laughs> i'm with uh helping out the kids man you know what i mean and that's what i do so yeah so are you uh, with- making records i try to find time for myself too and you know really just relax but it's a, it's a hard business right now it's, it's a lot of work you know i've been doing a lot of work for the past 10 15 years and i'm still doing it and uh that just shows the longevity and and the positiveness in, in my record you know what i mean so I try to keep everything positive. You know, there's a lot of negatives that come, but without the grace of God, then this is possible. So I owe it all, you know, all to God, man, everything, what I do. I feel so. you, bro. So are you working on new mixtapes or album releases at this time? Yeah, right now we got uh, the whole Life of Death Cat, man. You can go to myspace.com forward slash assassin and see the whole crew up there. We're doing all their albums. You know, we got Tension. We got A Gruff Muttley. We got the homie Jazz. Feeling that, we got, man. you know, major distribution for all that. We're also reaching out to uh, independent artists. You know, we're doing mixtapes. We're going to have a DJ King of Sass to present the All-Star mixtape. Okay. And to any of them artists that are trying to come up, they can get on this mixtape. And it'll be distributed nationwide on that compilation. It's more like a compilation, but slash mixtape. So, you know, mixtapes are to give out in the streets and do whatever you got to do. But this is going to be available in all your record shops. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get on that one, man, because you know I'm for that, man. I do my thing too, so uh, yeah, definitely got to check that out. Yep, yep. We also got a uh, promotional campaign with distribution. You know, uh, there's different packages that we got that an artist can actually take advantage of. Where it features the whole line of getting your album mastered, getting the graphics done, promotion, the magazine ads, the TV, all your media. You know what I mean? So. The Real whole campaign shit. is there. We got a package out that you can see on myspace.com right now. You can really uh, take advantage of that to any upcoming artist, man. There's different packages. It just depends on what kind of budget you're rolling with right. that you can uh, make that happen. So. Cool. So finally, is there anything you would like to promote and tell us the best way to get in contact with you? I would like to promote, uh, you know, all my upcoming artists on on your station and definitely get all the songs that we got into your sure, catalog over sure. there so you know we can start getting more play with some of the newer stuff that we got that's the main thing is uh getting the songs to your station and everybody support it play right. it bump it burn it do whatever <laughs> you gotta do I don't care if you burn it free on a CD and give it to your board just let everybody know the awareness of what's happening because sure you know good music is always gonna find a home and the home that we're building right now is gonna be incredible life of death you know what I mean so, life of death Feel that, Come man. Check us out. All right. Well, it was a pleasure, man, sitting there interviewing you, bro, man. It's definitely, man. I'd like to thank you, man, for putting it down as well as you did with the late great Machiavelli, man. 
You know what I'm saying? This is Assassin. This is the real cat right here. This is real talk, man. This is Underground Entertainment Radio. This your man, DJ Gangster. This was Assassin. We're going to blaze into another track. Guess they truly keep it gangster.